Hello, my name is Antonio Battini and I'm a 3D generalist in the Maritime Center of Excellence and I've been working mostly on projects which include sea simulations and ocean surfaces. I'm gonna show you how to create the following effect of the precise cutout of the water surface from boats and ship hulls without extra cost on project performance. For that purpose you won't need any other third-party plugin and we will be modifying the Unreal Engine's water plugin shader for that trick. Let's create a new level and first check out in the project settings that you have enabled distance fields and the water plugin from the Unreal Engine. For creating the water surface we need a landscape component, so I will create the simplest possible landscape. Now I will add a water body ocean, zero it out and move all the spline points to zero as well, which will result in an infinite water surface. In the content browser, be sure that you enable engine content, which will grant us access to water body ocean material, which is located under plugins, water content, materials, water surface. Open up the water material and under section masking double click on the function water opacity and we are good to go. This is the core of the water opacity and here we won't destroy anything. Instead I will add another functionality to the water shader itself by creating a static switch between existing and new masking feature. So type static and select static switch parameter and give it a name, I'll call it distance field mask and connect it to the false input. We have to call another function, so type in distance to nearest surface. Hold S and click. Now we have another static parameter that will regulate the size of the mask and give it a default value of 500. Divide these two values and saturate them. Connect them to the switch and make them a part of group opacity. Plug them into the BMAX connection, click save and wait for engine to compile. Now close everything and open up the water material. In the opacity section turn on the opacity mask. Click on VS, because we are working with infinite ocean. Add a check mark to the fixed water depth and use fixed Z. Also, in the water body ocean, uncheck affects landscape. And now we can drag our ocean up and down without affecting our seabed level. As you can see, our water mask is already working, creating a hole around our object. And if we go to distant field scale and lower this down to 1, it will create a 1 pixel cutout mask. This is ok for convex objects, but if we want to cut out water out of the boat, then we will have to create a simple blueprint that will contain our boat mesh and boat volume shape for the cutout. 
create a new blueprint, I will call it BP Boat and drag and drop both objects inside. It doesn't matter if your UV of the cutout part is correct because it will be invisible in the moment. Let's throw this bad boy into the sea and under the inside part search for visibility and tick visible in scene captures. As you can see the desired effect is already working. This is the simplest possible way of cutting out holes in the water surfaces and it even works in the real time on moving objects. When you are using other methods like real time capturing there is a big chance of getting glitches in the water surface and reduced performance of the project. There is also a benefit to this technique cause the masking effect is following the shape of the mesh so if we drop in a sphere it will immediately create a hole in the circular shape. You can drop in as many objects as you wish and they will create a mask for the ocean. Thank you for watching and I believe that you learned how to mask out water surface.